anywhere and a look, double push into middle. They don't actually challenge, they just want to rush by, try and see if they can look into second mid. And oh, that's a nice shot from Naf. He actually challenges from that balcony, a little bit scary, but gets the headshot on Rain. I, that's, I didn't see that coming. Oh, I thought Nico had spotted Steel. Obviously, didn't know he's just going to stand his ground right in the doorway. Good kill from Olaf Meister. Naf and Twist still going to be under pressure. Here they come. Nitro's rotated over. With some of this pressure mounted by the defense, and they, think they can see there's plenty of presence here at the A-bomb site, they kind of decide to slow things down. They do have a UFP, USP on Olaf, so he can use some of this space that's available. They have bracket control, and he can try and find a pick. Molotov could be great for Naf. See, he's just on top of the base. Ooh. Oh, that's a shot. That was actually Olaf Meister boosted up as well. Just playing that bicycle and waking it to work. Naf fly with one more headshot. Currently at the triple, and now Carrigan is just in a lot of trouble. Going to fall back with the bomb. Maybe if he could run down Elish, but smartly Elish is going to be falling back. He really doesn't want to. He was pushing down Banana, but instead he's going to wait for it. Twist gets the kill on Carrigan, and Liquid will win the pistol round. This is unreal. I mean, just some of the shots that Liquid's hitting Naf, especially that shot in Olaf when you're not expecting it as well. It's a great, great performance, but I mean, even Twist with that one right at the end, just immediate headshots. So Phase is individually, it seems like, which is, this is astounding to say, is being outclassed in these past two maps. Yeah. No, well, at least the last map in the pistol round so far. You weren't expecting that. How come they aren't using these modes? What are these, like, Hellfire missiles? I mean, they could just, you know... It seems like it would allow for an easy win, doesn't it? Yeah, just get load them up into the Apache and then <laughs> <laughs> just make it work. It will be the second round, and, um, yeah, Scare Spy coming through for phase. No bomb plant, so... They've made that work. Guardian on the Glock still for the AWP later on. No surprise at all. I will still say I'm kind of shocked. Normally when you push into apartments on the CT side, like quick in that way, you're just trying to just get a sense for how many people are in second mid. Yeah. Because that will tell you a lot about what's going on. But actually, Nafli pushed out and get the headshot. That was just too much, wasn't it? Yeah. It, well, I mean, it helped as well because uh, Elise got gooshed. So, I mean, I mean, not Elise. Twist got gooshed in that pistol round. So that kill from Naf actually helps slow down the pressure on him, allows him to get away. Yeah, I mean, it fits into the... I've mentioned this a couple times when we've casted Team Liquid. They, their CT pistol rounds, they don't like to just sit back and play standard CT pistol rounds. They like to get aggressive somewhere. They like to initiate some of the action. So um, that, that's a trend that's continued. And, I mean, you saw it, you know, they played it. Ooh, that's a great shot. I don't think Naf realized that Nico spotted out, like, his leg or something sticking out. He was able to line that up. There goes the bomb, unfortunately, which pretty much makes uh, Nico's progress towards that B-bomb site useless. Hoping for more headshots, though. And crouching on in. Yeah, that did look surgical. That was um, not bad at all. I'm not sure why Guardian kept pushing up mid with a bomb. Doesn't make any sense. If he had just fallen back, they could have maybe tried something over towards the B-bomb site. Can't disagree with that, Moses. But um, it happened, so now <laughs> we just have to live with it. No, it's true. I mean, you want to give yourself as much of a chance as you possibly can, you know? And, then, and committing the bomb to to top mid or any one of those positions that you can't really recover it from means you are going to be stuck there. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. So 2-0 and in favor of Liquid and yeah, another that. round out of phase. Yeah, this is weird. That doesn't make any sense. Because <laughs> Nico was already like, he was going to get the UMP. He was already basically at car. Could have gotten into the B-bomb site with that Deagle and one more lucky shot as someone rotates over. And all of a sudden they have an open site. There's a lot of SMGs being purchased here. They've spotted Nitro jumping at alt mid. He gets blinded by a team flash. Still recovers nicely, and there's good damage onto Nico and Rain. Nitro just wants to keep it up. He's hunting for frags. This is what we call Eco Cobras. This is where the, the, the term was coined, those kinds of plays. Yeah, indeed it is. That was, uh, that was the big dick play coming out of Nitro. Smoking yeah. up middle and then jumping through it. And just, and just bringing it to a uh, phase. You've got to love that. It's easy to have a, a big dick when the entire team has no armor and glocks on the other side, though. Listen, I mean, I don't judge the context of that, Moses. I just, <laughs> you just have to appreciate it, you know. 3 you know, though. Fourth round is coming up. <laughs> They've got all SMGs in late. That's so greedy. That's too greedy, Moses. We'll see. It's only too greedy if it doesn't work. Oh, well, okay, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the greed has set in. Consumed by their own greed. Just... Obviously not ready for it here. Solo Meister goes down. Somehow Nitro is going to win that fight. Picks up the AK. Looking for more. He's going to get the headshot. Nitro! Turning it around. Where did that come from? That's unreal. Two UMPs in action against Guardian. 
with an op. He's going to get the bomb planted behind the fountain. He's really trusting that smoke. They're going to come right through this, I would imagine. They have two Molotovs. They haven't used a single one. That's a great shot from Guardian now in the one-on-one. -on -one. Twist needs to do it. They know his position. A shot, though, and he's trapped between the flames and a grenade. And Twist is going to stand in his own fire just to pick up the op. That's a big one-on-one -on -one to win, and that's a big bonus round. A good grenade usage. Guardian sort of knew where he was, but just unable to really do anything about it. It's so, it, I mean, it's tough to like stay focused when the flames are starting to spread and then you see a HE grenade come in. He had like basically one shot to win that. I'm really sad that that round worked for Team Liquid because that means they're going to do it again, Moses. They haven't learned anything at all, have they? Uh -oh. Who needs to learn anything? Just, just win. <laughs> this great job by Nitro. Yeah, but now they've lured themselves into the belief that, you know... <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing that too frequently. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry. you got to hope not. Ultimately, it's great news, obviously, for Liquid. Phase with the bomb plant and the one versus one. They're going to be buying up into this round with limited grenades, admittedly, but with Carrigan getting that kind of an opening. Oh, that should have been a kill for Rain, who's had a bit of a tough series so far. Flashbang into the middle for Twist. Long range here against Carrigan, somehow getting a third kill. Which just seems unlikely. Finally, Naf is going to show up, and it will be a two-on-two -two with a bomb, weirdly. Dropped on that corner, really. He's just going to go and find it. Guardian goes down. Again, the bomb seems unable to be retrieved here for FaZe. Well, I've got to be a little bit frustrated this round. He did come out those A halls. Didn't have anyone in the A bomb site, obviously, because two players died peeking mid. That was Nitro and Steel, and then Twist had pushed up to try and recover the situation, but Olaf was, was looking for something that whole round and no one came into his sight while the rest of his teammates were falling. Smoke's going to be out. Fates a lesion to a peak, has the angle, deals some decent damage. Would have loved the kill, obviously, Naf, though. He's gotten into a solid position. And Olaf, I don't think he's going to expect this whatsoever. No, he's clearing the bomb site, an easy one for Naf around the corner. So 5-0 very quickly. And the money not really allowing for a reasonable buy. Could probably go for a half one if you wanted to. But, um, yeah, what a scary start here. Liquid doing very well in the beginning. And we don't always see great CT sites on Inferno. In fact, it's been everybody's been plagued by this. Just when you fall into that trap where you don't have the Molotovs to, to contest Banana and you can't really hold top mid, then it just goes really bad. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, I mean, Liquid really hasn't had a whole lot of pressure, but I, don't know, I think one of the, the closer rounds is those when they had all the SMGs on board. Rain turns the corner in the fire, and Nico couldn't find enough space between the two. He was trapped. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny that Rain even gets the kill turning the corner. He's just, Nico just gave up on life. He just thought, listen, I'm it didn't not... It look like he just took his hands off the keyboard and mouse, didn't he? He's like, I'm dead. Yeah, putting in no effort to get out. Oh, God. Could have been a nice peek, especially with the wrap around that wall. Could have maybe been catching Naf off guard. But now they're sort of weirdly stuck. They've recovered the M4, but I'm not sure it's going to help them that much. Well, they do pass it over to Kerrigan, who's got armor, so at least help with the aim punch as well. If they get into a fight, he can take some damage. Trying to time the smoke towards CT spawn. There are two players here, as that boost over the half wall kind of signified the number of players that were in a banana. The op is blind, though. That's Nitro. He's going to get the third player running in. Guardian, that's the bomb dropped. And Naf is going to be able to handle this nicely. Kerrigan turning the corner, finds one. It's a good kill, but the off will be recovered, so not too big of a loss. No, they'll be fine. They get about 10,000 or a little bit above on Nitro in the beginning of this round. That's an indication for how much money they've got going on. 6-0 and oh, and moving into the seventh round. We've got AKs and that one AWP on Guardian. I really, I re like I said this earlier, I really feel like FaZe... They have to really try and play their best in, in this third third place designer, even though the motivation might be lacking a bit. Yeah. It's it's I think it can be a mistake in the future, like for future tournaments, you don't want to have this loss against Liquid for no reason. Oh, certainly not. And I mean, listen, it, it might not affect FaZe too much going forward, but obviously Liquid, a team that, that has never beat FaZe, yep. it's going to make them feel much better. And there's, I mean, we have sort of historical precedent for this kind of thing. It's happened in the past. Um, I think most noticeably probably was um, NIP losing in DreamHack Bucharest against the Fnatic team back then. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a pretty insignificant match, and they ended up doing fine NIP in that tournament. But it was like, it was it was one of those matches where the I think that really helped the Fnatic team. They thought, all it, right, we can beat Nip. Yeah, it removed like the mystery of their opponents. We call it the Tiger, Wood, Tiger Woods effect. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so don't want to fall into any kind of thing like that. 
Six and oh, seventh round here, and deep flashbang going over the wall. Maybe trying to put, oh, that was a smoking factory for uh, Little Pit. She nope. doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, and no one, no one in the big pit either for Team Liquid. They have two players inside this site. Actually, they're pushing up lane now. They want to crunch top mid. They want to try and retake this. Elyse with a kill, but it's costly, and Rain has nowhere else to go. They're trying to force him back, and those are great wins. We don't see that be that successful too frequently. We, we've talked about a number of times on the analysis, like, why don't teams try and aggressively take back mid? And normally, it's because they just lose. But that was very well executed from Liquid. Maybe if the team as a whole doesn't feel it, and if the executes feel a bit weird and you can't really get into it, maybe just try and play matchmaking instead of your face. <laughs> like, if you're really going to go down that road, just say, all right, you know, let's just, let's just, you know, we have the firepower anyway. Yeah. Because Liquid are obviously playing this with focus. They've got the setups for it. They've, they're playing good defense right now. It really feels like FaZe have just not really showed up yet. No, they're, they're missing some, some kind of edge. Missing, uh, yeah, the, the focus, it seems. And Liquid, obviously, very fired up, as you said. Nitro is going to be in the A halls with an AWP. There is a smoke down in front of him. All choke points covered for A. Steel watching from Rap side to see who's going to jump up. He's going to be blocked up by a smoke of his own. Kerrigan's up, going to try and go right through it. No one to follow up. This is going to be two easy kills for Steel. Make it a third. They're just giving him gifts. And that's it's starting to look silly. A little bit. Steel will take everything that's been given to him in that round. Quad kill for him. And Naf got bored waiting at bottom banana. So instead, he's going to push up behind him. That's eight and oh. This is, uh, I mean... It's looking like a repeat on Nuke, just not on Nuke. I mean, we need something here. Anything. <laughs> Win Banana. Get Push them back on top mid. Push them, like, this is the basic, the most basic Inferno thing, right? Just get Banana control, push them back from top mid, and then make up your mind after that. Just accomplish that much on phase, and we can, and we can come back and see what, what's going on. Yeah. We'll see if they switch anything up. Guns are back out. Guardian with that AWP. And Liquid is occupying top banana, so there's going to be a chance here for them to really fight for this and take it back if they want. Rain and Olaf going to take over a Halls. Nitro's there again because he wasn't spotted in the previous round. Pretty much a similar, or the same setup as last time for Team Liquid. And Guardian has a perch with that AWP, but he's not going to be too aggressive with it. It's a nice idea for Nico. You had, he was actually uh, firing at that angle, the elevated on the wall, so he had the right idea, just didn't work out this time. Flashbang to force Elige back, and the further back he goes, the more dangerous this A defense is going to be having four people on it, because Elige kind of wants to know what's happening a bit early on, and when he's pushed back into the B bomb site, yeah, you can sort of see Naf is starting to rotate over as Elige is losing ground at top banana. It's a really standard Inferno rotations coming out so far. 45 seconds. Ball making its way back to top mid. They need to make up their minds soon, Phaser. They're simply going to run out of time here. Ready and waiting for it. Guardian and Nico pushing top banana still. But we're down to 30 seconds. This is so scary right now. Phase without a single round on the board as they're trying to make their way around. Bomb is running back to top banana. And Rain the only one here to try and cause a bit of a distraction. One good defensive move right now for Liquid, and the round is going to be over there. Zamolotov going deep in the bomb site. 18 seconds. Good shot there as Twist takes down one more kill. Kerrigan dropping the bomb on the site. The Guardian at least gets the refrag. So now they can put the bomb down unless Elige is there to stop them. The spray is in, and that is it. Double kill for Elige. Bomb goes down with four seconds or five seconds on the clock there, and they just didn't have time to fight him. No, and that's, that's one of the critical problems we've seen from FaZe on the T side of Inferno at times is, is kind of this uninspired where... You know, they, they kind of had control of top mid if they, if they really wanted to take it. They, and just no, there's no pressure on either of these bomb sites until like 30 seconds left. Rain's waiting in boiler essentially that whole round. No one's peeking. It's like they're waiting for a mistake to be made by Team Liquid and it's just never coming. And because of that, they don't have anything to fall back on. When they hit that B bomb site, there's just nothing left. I mean, Rain is there to make a distraction at A, but he's the only one and there's a smoke in his path. He can't do anything. He can't even really find a duel where he has any advantage. So timeout being called by FaZe. They want to talk over all the problems. Not sure that can be covered in I 20 was seconds. Say, there's yeah. a lot of them right now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a long list. <laughs> long list of worries. And, and they did push them back at top mid. They did push them back at banana. They had that much going for them. They just, they just lost 
lost track of time. Not a lot of kills on the on the face side of things, Anders. No, really not. There's like 15, 15 yeah. yeah. It's not 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 quite enough. Want to see more? Armor and pistols. And FaZe struggling here in the first half to put anything at all on the board. Obviously, that does help Liquid so much in terms of having all the grenades they could possibly want every single round. Naf not going to challenge it. Almost tell, almost a bit shocking. Naf is such an aggressive player when, when things are going well, but... I think it's more... Th there's no reason for him to challenge. He kind of saw what weapons they had. He gets that, that one kill. And, you know, you can tell there's pistols, so it's just like, why would I want to push and give that up when we can just play standard? If it's a gun round, maybe he tries to do something to, to uh, change the tides or give his team a big advantage. But here, all you can really do is, is give a gun over that will help them kind of win this round. So I like the play. Oh, I like it too. I'm just... Just musing? Yeah, I'm just... I just Thinking think, aloud? I just feel like Naf always does the opposite of what I... Of, you know, <laughs> what you think you should be doing, but... um. Yeah, I think it's it's good. Good to see him play it reasonably every once in a while. Going to be a good setup for a flashbang here, making it a little bit hard for them to get into the bomb site. Right in their eyes as the liege peaks. That's the kind of defense you just love to see. Very easy, very clean. And the liege, he's so, he's so safe peeking that corner after that flashbang goes off. Yeah, that's one of the big areas that, I, that I've noticed Liquid improve upon since Zeus came in. I know it's been a while since he's joined this team as coach, but they're, they're, they're flashbangs for teammates. They're counter flashes when, when opponents are executing onto them. Uh, have improved so much, and it makes things so much easier. Obviously, you can see a leech there just having a really good time. Four players for Team Liquid over $10,000 in the bank behind this buy. They are rich. Oh. oh, grenade went into the wall. Not sure how, but it did. That's unfortunate. Flashbang. Could have put a little bit of pressure on, but not enough that they give it up. 10-0. This is uh, shaping up to being on an unbelievably quick series, Moses. Yeah. Might almost, if you, if you take out the delay between the games, might, all, might be one of the fastest we've seen in a while. It, yeah, that would be interesting to kind of calculate, wouldn't it? We'll see how that goes. I know Virtus Pro had a pretty quick series um, early in the tournament. <laughs> Don't bring them up. Makes me sad, Moses does. Yeah, that, that one does sting, I think, everyone. Well, four AKs in an AWP. And this, I mean, again, look at this. There, there's, not, there's no pressure being applied anywhere. There's banana control now. They haven't really come up top mid. The question becomes, how long do they stay in these positions before someone tries to make something happen on the phase side of things? You have to kind of influence. If you're waiting for mistakes, you have to do something that's going to cause those mistakes to come. You have to put pressure, force someone to move out of a position, force someone to rotate, but at the moment, no one has to. Nitro peaking is about the biggest change we're going to see, and that's a great kill onto Kerrigan. They've, they're out of utility as well. There's one smoke for Pit, one flashbang. We're going to have to run through a Molotov, steal on the site. That's an easy kill, and everyone's just kind of stopped cold, and now twist. The magnificent Van Dalken with a magnificent double kill holds off that attack, and Nico's left to lurk on Rapside. And he's going to get shot down. It's Twist again to pick it up for an 11th round. And you're right, you, you do need to put a bit of pressure on. I like the, I kind of like the tennis terms of sort of forced and unforced errors, which is uh, which is something they like talking about. Yeah. Uh, and it's true, like at this level, and when Liquid are feeling this confident, they aren't going to make those uh, unforced errors. You have to do something to put a little bit of pressure on, and in Especially when they've won the first map so easily, and and now they're up 11-0 on map number two, you've got to you've got to do a bit more than this. I feel like they need to buy here, phase even if only three can get AKs, just go for it anyway. At this point, why not? Yeah, you need rounds on the board, don't you? And they go for the semi bar instead. I'm not a fan. <laughs> what can you do? I know. I was just saying that uh, you shouldn't be greedy, but now I feel like now be greedy. Yeah. Well, I don't even think it's greedy at this point for phase. I think it's like desperate, desperate scenarios. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Anders. People, few have said that in the past, I think. Yeah. I didn't make that up. Not my, uh, not my favorite, uh, not my favorite saying, but, but why not? 11 and 0, and the 12th round with four CZ75s, the P250. Trying to get Venom out of control. That might be a great grenade. Oh, it does not that much damage, but at least with the headshots, we'll follow it up. The smoke and the fire in front, man, they couldn't see almost anything coming out of that grenade. Now they've been shut down again. 
Yeah, this is not ideal, obviously. Plan to kind of try and catch him off guard through that smoke. Doesn't work. And now Naf and Elise just sink back into the bomb site, and they feeling really comfortable. Again, all off in Boiler, we've seen Rain there a number of times. He's usually the player for FaZe in that position. Um, kind of just waiting to see if someone's going to push up from lane and that he can get an easy kill, allow his team to rotate back, but it's not happening. Nitro's been here the whole round, getting all the information. Here comes Smoke. Nade is out, but it doesn't do any damage. The bomb is all the way back down in the underpass. So Kerrigan will pick that up. They're on top of it. And now there are four players here today. Two smokes and a flashbang. Great read from Liquid. FaZe don't know what they're about to walk into, but given the lack of weapons and utility, and just overall spirit, it seems, right now, means they're going to get heavily shot down. Mm -hmm. Nitro, actually, almost uh, so eager yeah. to find the last player that he almost got himself killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that says it all. 12 and 0. Oh. Team Liquid um, just unrelenting in the second map. What can you say about that? Yeah, this is, uh, they just want to, they want to shame everyone. Elige is having a lot of fun this game, I feel like. He hasn't really, it feels like he hasn't really been challenged. What's your favorite pizza topping, Moses? You can't pineapple. say cheese. Oh, you can't say pineapple either. Uh, it actually is cheese. Cheese isn't a pizza topping, Moses. It is just... It's just part of the pizza? Yeah, it's just, you know, the base of the pizza. Mm, peppers are good. I like I like extra cheese. Like, what if I throw some goat cheese on there, some blue cheese? You ever had that kind of pizza? Like four, che four cheese pizza. So just <laughs> four cheese. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? I like the, the, the margarita pizza with the, the basil and tomato slices. And Have you ever had a chicken pesto pizza, Anders? No, but that sounds good. It's a really good pizza. All right. I'm up for it. 12-0 right now. 13th round. We've got double up on the T side. A sign of the strange times that we're living in where FaZe just can't make anything work on the T side of Inferno. They've got top mid. They've got banana control. So the basics are there. That's the setup. Now they've pushed them back. Now they can put some pressure on Liquid. And they're doing it before the... 25 second mark as well, so that's not bad at all. That smoke is really well timed, but Kerrigan wants to push through anyway. Guardian getting a kill on Nitro. The beginnings, maybe, of something interesting here. Smoke goes up to CT. Spawn a bomb still at bottom of Banana, so someone's going to go and pick that up, and it looks like they're going to call it in. Kerrigan goes down just as they made the choice to go for this B bomb sign. That's going to get a little bit risky. Nico, good timing there, and Nafly now alone at the back of the site. Getting the kill on the guy carrying the bomb at 17 seconds. Nico going to open it up. And now at least they'll get a bomb plant here. Two versus... Oh, the lineup <laughs> was a little bit dangerous. Almost saw Steel do it again. Kills through smokes. Yeah, finally FaZe get an opening kill towards that A bomb site and just walk their way into B. Elige was expecting an execute, was expecting flashbangs to come over, staring into the wall was a free kill. There's no reason for Liquid not to go for this. They have three players at like 16k, so you might as well just hit it. Steel going to come in, waiting for Guardian to peek the other side, and he will take some down. Twist now holding the angle. It is traded off by Nico. There it is. Faze is, uh, Faze is here. They've arrived. Yeah, the crowd is loving it. Better late than never, as they say. 12 to 1. Also not my favorite saying. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite saying? Uh... What can be asserted without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence. It's a good old Hitchens line. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Got to remember that stuff, Moses. It's critical. You're just trying to sound intelligent for the viewers. I no, feel. I, th I think they've. I think that's that. That battle has been lost, <laughs> Moses. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Ship has sailed. Yeah. It's out of here. <laughs> that's too late. It's too late for that. That's no, good. It's a good little, good little phrase to remember. Especially in these times of, yeah, I'm just going to stop that. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. Damage on to Kerrigan down to 8 HP. Nico's still going to walk his way up banana. He still wants to challenge a little bit. But the main force over towards A, obviously, opening kill from Nitro. He's been in halls a couple times with this AWP. He's going to get a follow-up on a Guardian, was waiting for that peak, and Guardian obliges, and there's really not a whole lot left to do. Steal. Well, Rain, expect this. No. 
but Steel can't adjust in time. Rain's been brought low, so Nico's really the only person left with enough HP to kind of initiate any course of action and cannot win that fight with the Liege inside of B. That Fountain really screwing with him, and the Liege is going to be all alone. He's got HP, 8 HP of him, uh, by himself, so this is actually relatively doable, but that's a good find. Yeah, huge kill on Carrigan. Bomb dropped with 35 seconds. Rain going to have to go for the ace clutch here, picking up the bomb, and he's going to have a chance to put it down before they're right on top of him. But he's fighting two full health players that are coming into the bomb site, so this definitely will not be easy. Good flashbang, putting a little bit of pressure on Nitro as he relocates into construction. See if Rain can pick up round or number two. There's a headshot mid-air, dropping Nitro, and now there's just one left. And it's Twist walking around. He's got the kit and a little bit of time here before that bomb goes up. Rain hiding in the corner. This might be perfect. He's got the quad and there's the ace. Picking it up, clutching the round, and finding round number two for FaZe. That is definitely not easy. Yeah, an unlikely breath of life into this FaZe team at the end of the half. Down massively and Rain wins all the duels. That's a great round from him, obviously. Able to clutch it out. So 12 to 2, Liquid, by virtue of obviously winning so many rounds in a row and not taking too many losses. At one point, there were so few kills on the face side. They had so much money. They could even, I mean, they have enough money to buy again if this half was, was obviously longer than 15 rounds. But even losing three in a row, they're not even really phased in terms of a reset. Good opening uh, by Guardian. Picks off Nitro. Seems to be a little bit more aggressive on this face size. Now they're starting to feel a bit more confident. One opening kill, it goes a long way on Inferno, stretches out, thins out the defense. And since they've lost again, top mid and banana, I guess Twist is sort of looking into top mid just to try and keep an eye on it. That smoke though, gonna make his life a bit difficult and you can tell, I'm not sure why Neff is this far back into B. Are they just gambling? This is, now they're starting to turn it around, but that seems very, very defensive. It does seem silly. I mean, obviously it looks like they, he was, he's waiting to make the swaps to have put the op at B. Uh, but that just seemed crazy. It's a lot of space and twist, unfortunately. And uh, it's part of the product, you're right, of NAF being so far back yeah. that like there was just no information of what's coming, of the timing, of, of the positioning, and how far up FaZe had gotten. So Twist is kind of hung out to dry there. And now the headshots are coming out for FaZe. It's going to be a third to end the half. I know we just said better late than never, Moses, but I actually, I'm actually going to go back on that. I actually feel like it's more depressing to see FaZe being able to put rounds like this together and then just not doing it for, for, you know, 12 rounds in a row. Like, that almost is more... Okay, I understand. Like, you're just... It makes you so much more disappointed in the first 12 rounds. Yeah, it's more like... Come on. You guys knew how to do it. <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> didn't for a long time. Yeah, a little bit shocking. Good rounds at the end. I mean, just e exploiting Inferno the way that you're supposed to on the T side. Um, so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, Liquid helped a little bit. I mean, I know that last round, like, I think, was it Nitro that peaked down mid with the op? Which sure. is a peak from the CT opera that I know you in particular hate. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Um, so, yeah, there were some opportunities given up by Liquid there. 12-3, switching over to the T side. I see what he did there. Op opportunities. It's not bad. Be uh, a couple of smokes there on the liquid side and um, looking to see if they can rush up Banana. Nico trying for a quick flick as they jump around the corner. He could have been killed, but are they going to keep pushing? A little bit dangerous. Seems like they're hesitating, sort of. Some of them running in. The bomb is first in, so the rest should be committing anyway. Trying for a flank down the bottom Banana, but there's a fight going on. There's fights everywhere. Is Guardian going to pick up that kill? And Nico coming in with two stunning headshots to maybe shut this round down. If they can pick it up, maybe they can turn it around. Twist out in the open, gets one headshot, looking for more. Olaf right around the corner, Twist almost saving it. Two bullets left, hasn't reloaded. Olaf gonna go for it, and now the reload finally is in. He's out in the open, and he finally wins the fight. Double kill for Olaf Meister there. Twist almost did it. That was a crazy round. They actually <laughs> lured them. They lured FaZe to try and and sort of re relocate to the B-bomb side through Banana. Yeah. And then there was one guy, I think it was uh, Nitro, waiting at the bottom. What a crazy round. Yeah, that was wild. I, I don't even know where all those fights took place. That was, that was insanity. <laughs> I was focusing on the site. Obviously, Nico has an incredible round. Once Kerrigan goes down, he's over towards new boxes, and he gets a couple kills that really holds him off. Twister at the end, though, I honestly thought he was going to win that. He was, he was just straight up standing and fighting with everything. He didn't want to play that with any kind of finesse. He just wanted to win all the battles. Navi Zola finishes him out at the end. He could have just bailed out and ran towards the A-bomb site, but chooses not to. Either way, five deagles on the board, four Team Liquid. Gonna try and make some magic happen. 
no utility as well, so they need to get some picks with these deagles. Yes, they do. So far, the angles aren't working out for the smoke for Nafly. And fairly desperate taps coming through. No reason why FaZe have to overextend it all in this situation. Just play it cool and don't give up any of the SMGs or anything like that. Easy when they don't have head armor. It's now in four straight for FaZe. Guardian's going to swing out wide. That's a nice headshot. And he's not falling back whatsoever. He's got Kerrigan with him to help out if they get in any trouble. Guardian's been brought down low. Now he's going to give things up. And Liquid have not won or expected most of these duels they've gotten into with the Deagles. So it's just Naf left. And you like to see him do some kind of economic damage. But the Deagles are apparently... Dead is not working. Yeah, they're shooting like rubber bullets or something. So, fifth round here for FaZe. As you said, it's been a, a good little streak they've managed to put together. Finally, something working out in favor of them. That means they can start to build the economy in Liquid. You would expect that they could probably find four rounds on the T side of Inferno. That seems like a realistic uh, proposition. Oh, that's a bit cruel. Yeah, it does just disappear as well when you shoot it, doesn't it? Yeah, you, yeah. Ooh, Nate's down mid. Yeah, you would think that they'd be able to find four. This is going to help. A couple kills early on. Still, I mean, a long shot to actually turn it around, but they don't know this. If they just rush halls to the A bomb site, it's only Olaf Meister here. And Nitro jumping out with low HP could give them the information they need. It's going to be a flank through B. Elige trying to put Olaf in an awkward spot. They can get the plant. They need to rush into this bomb site and make it happen. It's their only hope. And they are going to get that down. The Deagle on twist. He's in the balcony. Aid coming down, and Naf takes, or excuse me, Elige takes a little bit of damage. Let's see what Van Dolken can do in this pit. Definitely a good position. They have a couple of Molotovs, so if he doesn't get kills quick, they're probably going to grenade him out of uh, relevance. And I think he's moved up instead, trying Ooh. to get a little bit closer towards that bicycle. That Molotov actually doesn't really land right. Elige will get one headshot. Still down in that pit, looking for the Deagle shots, but he's going to get closed in on. That's not bad at all. Nico, Flash, to can't really find the bomb. But they are going to find it at the end, and they will have time to win the round. Very close, very scary round there for FaZe. Yeah. Liquid are loving it. Yeah, I mean, that, that almost got very, very tough at the end. A great plant, though, for Team Liquid. They're able to find that with three kills, so they've done some of that economic damage. Obviously, now with the AKs on the board, if they can do more, or heaven forbid, just straight up win this round, FaZe is going to have one more buy behind them. See what they have in store for us. Like, Nico was uh, left alive with nine HP that round. About nine HP away from losing, that was FaZe. Yeah, you don't want to be de defusing. I think they only had like 13 seconds or something when, when, when they got the last kill. Yeah, I so think they finished the defuse with like seven or six seconds remaining, so not a whole lot of time either. Yeah, so if you have to find one more player with that little time left, it's just no fun at all, is it? Let's see what happens. All AKs, they could have got the AWP if they wanted on Liquid, but it's no surprise that they didn't. That's a topic that we've been talking about a fair bit in the tournament. Quick trade. I feel like Carrigan could have easily gone down with nothing there, so I guess it's better than, uh, than that. Picking off... Naf fly as well. Oh, it's gonna, I think Car Guardian's setting up for a flashbang back there. Well, Molotov would force him from helping out if that's the case. They're both in the open. He turned from it, though, and Nico can't get anything done. He was setting that play up for a while. Guardian towards CT spawn is just straight up going to fall. <sighs> and Steel pegs his teammate in the back of the head with a smoke. That is the worst, isn't it? Yeah. They're just trying to do it. Oh, the bomb is back here, but, well, okay. But no, don't worry. Yeah, some of these shots from, from Liquid have been phenomenal. Just like immediate headshots. Obviously, Olaf probably thinks that, you know, most of Team Liquid is actually in the B bomb site about to plant the bomb and hadn't realized that they had still left it at the base of mid, so Elish had to recover it. You know what I bet, Moses? I bet um, that little moped that's right there by the, uh, yeah. by the graveyard. I bet you could fit two people on that and the back person could have an Negev and you could just drive down middle with the... Cobblestones, would, I feel like, would make for some hard shooting, though. You know, I feel like the ground would it would be bumpy. Yeah, that's why you have the Negev. I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Do you think, yeah, but the recoil, I think, feel like, would be harder to control. I like the idea, though. What if you put some people on it with just grenades? Oh, yeah. and then, like, sort of like, uh, you know, they, they, just, they just go with the moped and then see what mm -hmm. happens. Yeah, that could, ha that could, be, a, that could be a thing. New and, new and adventurous uh, form of Counter-Strike. I think the vehicles in Counter-Strike are underutilized. 
Remember, like, Siege used to have that APC that you could drive? Yeah, and, uh, I mean, so the problem was back then, a bunch of the servers that I played on at least, you would drive your whole team into the garage on Siege, yeah. and then uh, they would all get out, and you'd back over three of them and get banned from the server immediately for team killing. That was always fun, especially yeah. like the really laggy ones where like the rubber banding happened with the APC yep. where it wouldn't be on your screen and then it just launched forward and run you over. Yo, people would just jump out in the middle of it and then the kill would be counted to you even though they made the mistake. So yeah. it was a good time. No, but I mean, Jeepathon obviously is the best map of all time. No. It is. Did you ever play Jeepathon 2K? Oplete Skeet? No. That was my favorite map. Yeah. It's like Actually, there's a, there's a map called Bungee Jump as well, which is amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we missed some of that. They removed the funk vehicle uh, command for map making, but they added another one that apparently nobody's ever figured. I, I really miss Counter-Strike vehicles. I really think it's, it's, it should, should come back in. Yeah, as long as it's never, ever, ever used in competitive play. Yeah, some difference between you and I, Moses, there. I mean, There's plenty of differences. I feel like that would be great. Well, we're back into it. Tangent can uh, can go away. Put it back in the so many mopeds on this map. I think right. everyone could have a moped on one. Thing. There's <laughs> probably five of them. It's meant to be. Oh, and so is that shot from Guardian taking down Steel while standing in the fire. The quick smoke up so that nobody can follow him. Not at all bad here for Phase. Thirteen to six. It is going to be a very long comeback if Phase want to be back and make it to map number three. But they, it feels like they've started to come alive a little bit more, you know? It does. I mean, towards the end of that first half, they, they'd won three in a row, looking much, much better, much more active on the map. They've won six of the last seven. And obviously, one kill here is a good start because they're basically out of money with this double op purchase as well. That's a very expensive thing. All five players below 1,000. Only one player is even over 200. So this is a must-win round for FaZe. They might just lose the series right here. It is on the edge. Guardian. Should have been an easy kill. There it is. He actually waits a little bit, which is not bad at all. Picks up that one and Nico close range, defending with the FAMAS. And that gets completely chewed up. No chance at all. None of the grenades really doing Liquid any favors in that push. No, they didn't at all. That's a great round from Guardian. Obviously, that first one standing in the fire. Surprised he didn't take more damage, but Steel's not expecting it, is he? I'm going to get the tail end of that as he backed away. Nico actually has some very nice shots as well. I mean, Nitro probably not expecting him to be boosted up, but this follow-up onto a liege is probably a very nice shot from Nico. Guardian, those are just easy for him. Yeah, Nico burned alive at the end, I think, to the Molotov, so he was he was actually challenging that just to be sure that Guardian was safe. What a teammate. Yeah, that is... What a guy. Oh, no. The Chris J man has spread to Kerrigan. He's got the MP7 as well. Oh, my God, it's contagious. Yeah. Really need to isolate these players so that it doesn't switch. Could have almost been a two for one for Guardian, although he couldn't really know that. So they're going to fall back after he takes a bit of damage. But nobody from Liquid has gone down, so good banana control for them. Yeah, good, good job, Rain. You don't see people shooting at these windows, and there's more than just the one you can shoot at as well, Moses. The counter spam in the halls, you mean? Yeah. Well. Olaf has the other op. That's on rap side at the A-bomb site. Smoke is up in that middle choke point. See if Liquid wants to challenge it or if they're just going to wait for it to dissipate. Just under a minute, 50 seconds remaining in the round. Some nade streaming over. And that Olaf is going to be blocked off entirely by smoke, but still no aggression from Liquid up mid. Kerrigan and Rain both... In the pit, Kerrigan's up top on, on the balcony. Olaf gonna jump. No, he's not. He's actually gonna stay on the rap side. He wants to be honest, wants to help keep this side open with the AWP, but no one's gonna come here. Kerrigan's got a big job to do with the SMG. Yeah, not easy, especially as he's down to 13 health. All of Meister turning up at the right time, getting the one. The scope is in on the next one, trying to see if he can do it with the third, and it's just Naf left in the smoke. Somehow, they all showed up at that crossfire at the perfect time. Yeah. That, was, that looked scary for a minute. That was a very impressive hold from FaZe. That flashbang that Kerrigan throw kind of stops most of the Liquid players dead in their tracks. It was only Nitro who actually makes it into the site. He's taken out by a very, uh, a very nice no-scope. Good yeah. round from FaZe. This double op setup uh, got them started on the right track on the CT side, but Olaf is going to give it away. Guardian's got the op, and that's it. 13 to 8. The comeback is starting to look a little bit more realistic. Guardian... Unable to get the flick in, but it doesn't really matter. They don't have any armor at all, so... Should be a bit of a free round here for FaZe as they are starting to... 
Build a solid foundation on the CT side. They were really struggling. What's Liege doing? <laughs> Just having a good time. I mean, Liquid now is looking like they're struggling a bit on this T side. Not able to find a whole lot of openings in these past few rounds. So, yeah, this uh, not just the comeback thing on, but I think more, you can tell why. It just seems like FaZe is much more switched on. It took them a very long time to get into this. 12-3 first half, but now they, they're looking very dangerous. This is looking at the FaZe that, that we know. Guardian pushing in, quick scope onto Twist. The pistol's out, finds Nitro, finds Nap as well. Oh, and in the air. That's stunning stuff from Guardian. That's a beautiful ace. Even though they don't have armor, you have to just appreciate the fact that that looked so clean. He read every sort of peak coming in after that. He was very much aware of what was going on. 13 to 9, ladies and gentlemen, and we're moving into the 23rd round. Now, I really feel like Liquid have... They have a lot of opportunities that they just haven't tried yet. Like, I would like to see them sort of like push them back like they have from top mid and banana. Okay. And then try and, try and hit that archway with like three people. Just really run it down, you know? Yeah, you could try. I, I think that's the big problem is part of a lot of this comeback from FaZe. Liquid's been, you know, bleeding a decent amount of players in, in some of these rounds to the ops of, of FaZe, which is why that double op setup on Olaf and Guardian was so effective. But even Guardian on his own has just been doing a very good job of finding the opening kill and, and usually building upon it. But Liquid a lot of times has, has lost a player when they're trying to do this kind of map control to an AWP. So this round they won't, which is going to be a welcome change for them. But they are going to run low on utility the longer this round goes. They only have three smokes, three flashbangs, and a Molotov. You want to be careful. Grenades absolutely going to be critical at the end of the round. Nico now alone. Somehow tap steel down to 40. Carrigan is going to make his way back as Nico falls back into the site, which makes perfect sense. Been a lot of shuffling around on the defense in this round for FaZe. They've really been running all over the place. Almost had three in the B-bomb site for a good 10 seconds, which is a little bit odd that late in the round. Elish going to try and see if they can get around. They are going to try and hit this archway, but only with two people, and they get the trade. That's the only important thing. Now, three people stuck in A while alone on the B-bomb site. It's Nico, but they're waiting for such a long time. This delay in the push is really going to come back to haunt them now. The rotation is going to start to come in, and it's going to be quick up banana. There's Nico getting a great double headshot, shutting down, twist and naff lion. Just like we said, all of us gonna be here. Steel still gets the kill, but that rotation is just so quick. And Nico's still alive. Flashbang goes over the spree is in, and he's gonna win the round for his team. A triple kill, just solid defense. Liquid had that whole round set up. They could have won that round. Yeah, they wanted to wait for Elise to get involved, to get at least a CT spawn so they could try and time it better. And it ends up hurting. You're exactly right. The flanks were given so much time to come into the base of Banana. And obviously, this sequence from Nico, this is what we love seeing out of him. One of the best players in the world. So quick. Makes it look easy. And obviously, backing off because there's no need to risk more. Yeah, really well done. Smooth AK-47 kills. Now that massive gap is down to just three rounds. Liquid are out of money and are honestly looking a bit distraught as well. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even... I'm not even, like, without even looking at the score of the game at 13 to 10, it just looks like Liquid haven't, don't really know where they want to find an entrance against this phase team who've, who've come alive. The Ops kind of screwed with their head, and now here uh, the best opportunity to have a split on that B bomb site just kind of gets thrown to hell by, by Nico. And they haven't really done a great job in these past few rounds. In the past four rounds, they've only gotten, you know, four kills total. So they haven't had a whole lot of success whatsoever. And that's, that's I think, what the conversation is about in that pause, is we need to find some openings. That needs to be the number one goal here, is, is where can we find an opening pick? Where has FaZe shown that they have a weakness? Someone's overextending. What kind of sequence are they using with their nades to take banana? So anything that you can take advantage of. It's a good jump into second mid for Rain there, just to just to see four people running up. It's obviously annoying if you're liquid and you sort of maybe you were gonna try and rush, and then you just you get spotted and you're like, oh well, can't do that anymore. We'll see if they can exploit any of these positions to get that one opening frag. That would be good news. Nico again trusted to hold Banana alone, and why not? I would trust him to do that as well. Well, here it comes. Looking to put some pressure on Balcony. Smokes are out three around the pit, one towards small pit. This flashbang needs to be perfect, but it's not. It's actually not even close to perfect. Opening kill goes to Olaf and Rain in the pit. He's got so many targets, and his teammates bail him out. He does great damage with only one kill, and Olaf is there 
to shut the rest down. Three kills in the round for him so far. No danger. There was probably no way that Liquid could have known this, but there were three people watching that balcony. <laughs> Two of them on the bomb site, one in the pit. Both like both the people on the bomb site were actually up on top of boxes to look at the balcony, so Yeah. And unfortunately those flashbangs didn't have any impact yeah. whatsoever. They're obviously designed to give you like that, that one second window to jump into pit, whatever it might be, but I mean it's it's just a really nice recovery from FaZe looking away at the proper flashbang. I think Olaf even got blinded by one of them, but by then the round was already over. Thirteen to eleven. It's madness here in Kiev. Guardian gonna peek down mid. This is the confidence you like to see out of some of these phase players. Yeah, they have a good reason to be confident right now. Guardian taking down Twist is a big start. And it really feels like FaZe have sort of had a bit of a conversation in between the first and second half saying, listen, I mean, we really, really, really need to do something about this. <laughs> Guys, this is, you know, losing is one thing. Getting spanked out of the server is another. So they've really kind of, they've really switched on here. All that's left with uh, Twist dying, they have no map control anymore, so they just have to hit this B bomb site. Guardian's going to have the angle, throws the counter smoke as well. Nico's inside the bomb site. It's that wall smoke. They're going to wrap on Guardian. He's aware, though. He's holding it. And Nico over the top. He's distracting everyone, and they're all going to fall. Guardian now getting aggressive with the CZ. All five kills, another ace. Yeah, why not? Why not? Such a great read for Guardian. Sees it coming, and as you said, Nico helping him out in the back, making sure they can't even just sort of run him down. I like the attempt from Liquid. I mean, I think that's a creative way to try and shut it down, but Guardian that, has just hit a new level all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm wondering if, like, uh, I mean, obviously, it's Guardian likely watched that game that Liquid had against SK at some point. Maybe he was just watching casually, but that was, remember, the tactic that Liquid is employing on that B bomb site that, that SK could never figure out throughout that half. So Guardian is was more than prepared for that wraparound. Oh, right no. through the Molotov, right through the nades. It's not going to work. It's closed. Nico. He's going to stand his ground again with the AK-47 here. Seal coming through, not able to trade those kills. No synchronization for Team Liquid. And it's going to be all tied up. 13-13. It's been a long road, and Nico's going for the ace. Yeah, can we get one more ace in this game? No. <laughs> nah. You absolute bastard. We've had three aces in the series. Yeah, it's been good. I wanted more, you know. Fourth one in there. Why not? Almost happens. The scoreline is tied up at 13-13. I would not have guessed this. To me, it really looked like FaZe were just... Not turning up today, just not really ready for it. Um, and I think that was almost true for the first, you know, map and, and sec and the first half of this <laughs> map too. Three halves of it. They've spotted Liquid three halves. And like, let's just see if we can flip the switch. And they have. I'd be slightly worried if I was Liquid. I'd be like, oh. Mm. Yeah, well, it seems like, likewise, it seems like Liquid had so, such an easy time for three halves of Counter-Strike that maybe they... Got a little unfocused and caught off guard by, by FaZe coming back into this one. So now all of a sudden it's, it's them who are on the back foot. 23 kills for Elish, 22 for Naf. Most of that obviously done in the first half. And then Guardians come alive, 24 and 17. Nico's at 19 and Rain at 18. Yeah, 24 kills on Guardian and 10 of those are in just two rounds. <laughs> 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 Not bad at all. 27th round here is... We are starting to see Liquid again put a bit of pressure on Banana. Just trying to leave Steel there with the smoke while the rest are pushing up on second mid into the apartments really quickly, in fact. We'll see how this goes. Hold on. There's a spam through from Elise and nothing going right. Twist going to come through. He's next. All right. Get out of my face. Yeah, he... I don't know. Just... Why not? Usually, it's the other way when you're up in the apartments. It's pretty hard to defend that as a CT. Olaf doing a great job. Guardian. No smoke or no shadow showing. He's still going to be going down. Now for the good rear frag. Four versus three. Two men on the A-bomb side. If they... I don't know. If they had pushed, maybe they could have had the timing. But they weren't all three there anyway. So instead, they're going to gravitate back to the B-bomb side. And into Nico's waiting arms. There's a very small window of opportunity that Liquid has to hit this bomb site. Kerrigan's going to come back as soon as the smoke clears because Olaf was over there with him at the corner just to peek down. They need to do this quicker, but they're taking such a long time. They're so worried about one player. Well, Naf wants to Molotov the, the, the dark corner. Actually, all the Molotovs they're going to throw, they're going to throw three of them, and none of them are going to bother Nico at all. 
In fact, he's going to smoke, then Molotov, then Flashbang as they try. They're just stuck in the middle of everything. They do get the kill on him anyway. I think he could have just waited, but now it's a three-on-three -three for the retake here. Spray is coming in, almost shutting down Nitro, who has the bomb. That could have been a little bit scary. And Deep Molotov, Nitro just wants one. Somewhere to stand where he's getting shut down. Steel is gone. And there's the bomb plant, but it's just too late. Olaf instead with a quad kill. And that's FaZe now taking the lead with 14-13. Even with Nico just going down for nothing, he delayed so much with his utility. Forced them to run through a smoke. Molotov in their way as well. Counter flashbang. So much time bought. Liquid's going to go for another timeout. 13 to 14. This is uh, pretty incredible. It's what, eight rounds in a row now for FaZe? Yeah, they've really turned it around. You can see Seuss is less than pleased. What do you think he's saying, Moses? I don't know. I hope he's angry. Yeah? I hope he's just yelling at him. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually, Drill sergeant, like you pieces of not actually offering any any like sort of <laughs> positive feedback. No. Just saying, like this I'm is so embarrassed of all of you. I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm disappointed. Oh uh, yeah, maybe that's what they need right now. If this goes to a third map, could actually be interesting. Could be a situation where both of them are um, potentially woken up, and and we could have like a more kind of regular game. 13, 14. What is the third map? Train? No. Cobble. I was hoping you wouldn't ask for <laughs> I've forgotten in the meantime. <laughs> How's that bus feel? Pretty good? Oh, man. I'm glad you're learning to use that Russian keyboard. That's uh. It's amazing. If I type uh, hltv.org in Russian, it's still, I guess it apparently is the same thing. It knows. Mirage, it seems. Oh, cool. Interesting. And yeah, that could be a really good game to finish on. Double AWP here on the phase side. That's two rounds away from bringing us to Mirage. And Fee and Liquid frustrated at this point. Thought it was going to be easy. Thought they could just walk away with that third place finish and, and be, and that would be exciting for them, obviously. I think they would be uh, happy to have beaten both SK and FaZe on land in one tournament. That would definitely be a bit of a statement. Yeah, that would that'd be uh, that'd be nice to have on the resume, wouldn't it? Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to beat FaZe here. Guardian is so on point. Rain is gonna win that duel as well. And Olaf chiming in. There's just been no success whatsoever. The utility usage for Liquid hasn't bothered FaZe whatsoever. It feels like the flashbangs haven't been effective in any regard towards this safe bomb site. Good kill from Steel, but there's no chance of him winning this. A one v four now. And the bomb is in the pit, so. Can't even really force them out. I'm just waiting to find a way. Face could like literally take their hands off the keyboard and mouse at this point. Yeah. And they'd win. Stand, it will be Olaf Meister with a double. Rain with a double. And that's 15-13. Map point here in favor of FaZe. And Liquid falling flat on their faces here in the second half. Just about as uh Unable to play the T-side as uh, FaZe were, which is, uh, I don't know, that's that's kind of odd. Yeah. I, that's kind of weird. It was like, yeah, it is very much like FaZe saying, oh, we have a terrible T-side, and then Liquid just says, hold my beer. <laughs> we can do it even worse. Well, this is how confident they're feeling. That's, uh, that's tough. Nitro just stops even taking that fight whatsoever. Guardian's next. He could have very easily fallen there. Even Olaf is aggressive. FaZe has exposed themselves in a lot of different ways, and now it's all coming out yeah, the bomb. for Liquid. It doesn't, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a five on two, so it doesn't matter too much, although I guess if there was B aggression, Steel could be in some trouble. And FaZe, they have got all the monies. You might as well go for this. Yeah, trying for the two on five retake. Why not? Smoke goes up. Looks like Nico wanted to flash his way through. It's Kara going to pick up the kill on the leash, and yeah, Nico's kind of paranoid that someone's there, and he's not wrong either. Kerrigan going down means Nico is in a lot of trouble. He stopped tapping just as Naf walked by as well. 14-15, so that's... Yeah, I think you're right. That was just confidence on FaZe saying, listen, we've got this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, just everyone aggressive across them. And, like, no plan for the aggression, was there? Like, none of it was synced up whatsoever. I guess maybe Rain and Guardian were, were trying to be aggressive at the same point, but the timing was a bit off. Everyone just falling for free. So a lifeline... Uh, they throw a life jacket into the waters for Team Liquid. Let's 
see what they can do now. 30th round. Looks like quick aggression up the middle. Maybe catching Guardian. He's been he's been really aggressive on this corner, so maybe that's just what they want to try and do. He's a little bit further back, but he doesn't actually get the shot in this time. They're going to wrap around towards Arch instead. Olaf playing close. That flashbang is dead on perfect, but they still get the refrag. Still going down. Now it's a four versus three with a big chance for FaZe to pick this one up. There is a rotation coming in. They wait a little bit too long, and that means Kerrigan is now going to be in CT spawn, so that's going to be a bit annoying. They would have loved to have Twist able to peek off that balcony in towards Pit, in towards the bomb site, just to alleviate some pressure and help him out, but it's not going to happen. Blocked off by smoke. They have to be patient in such a precarious position. Guardian holding the angle towards Rap with that AWP. Smoke goes in towards Lyra. It's pretty deep, though. Oh, yeah. There might actually be a gap in that for Kerrigan. Yeah, he sees it. Uh, it's not that much. He can't actually peek into the small pit. And here comes the Molotov. It's not going to force anyone out. Rain, though, his attention is going to be important. The smoke is going to allow Twist to go into the bomb site. Guardian's not watching that direction, and they've done it. They found a way in, but Kerrigan just now pouncing. Yeah, big double for Kerrigan. Twist alone in the one versus two. He's going to get the spray on one. Nico around Ooh. the corner, and it's overtime. Triple here for Twist. Not focusing on the bomb. Just one of that round. A little smile on Sue's face, and... We're going to be seeing what happens now. I mean, that was very late in the day, but they managed to mirror each other's halves. Yes. It was all planned. It was all planned. <laughs> That's a very tough round for Team Liquid to win. Just when you think the main part of that attack is going to be coming from Rap side, where there's two players, everything used to just distract Guardian for Twist to come up lane and find that one kill for him. He ends up winning the entire round. Great timing on the peak from Kerrigan as well. Yes, it was. Seemed like that yelling uh, from Seuss really worked out. Yeah, sometimes you got, just got a lot of fi light of fire under their ass, don't you? Yeah, just make sure that they uh, they know it's serious. It's gonna be an an uncomfortable flight home if they if they don't uh, they don't take this seriously. <laughs> Put you back in economy. No <laughs> first class. <laughs> They're back to the punishment. <laughs> Well, overtime about to get started here. Countdown is in five seconds till freeze time. Liquid, a desperate three rounds that they were able to muster up on that T side, including the last two. And that's, that's why, by the way, you don't do the crazy thing that FaZe did, which is the up 15-13 and you push everywhere on the map and get punished. Yeah. Because then, I mean, then you just have no more mistakes, right? Like, they, they played such a phenomenal half. And then that last round, yeah, it's miraculous from Team Liquid, but... If you don't give them the previous round, then you still have one more chance to win this out in regulation. Yeah, good little lesson to be forgotten there, Moses, every single time. <laughs> Just, <laughs> as people tend to do. Now it's overtime. 15-15. Obviously, MR3 and 10,000 starting money as Guardian has picked up an AWP. So has Nico. Back to the double orb, it seems. Big investment in the first round of overtime. Yeah, it could be deadly if Liquid's able to win this first one. Could force away some utility. That's a good timing on the nade. Nitro brought down to just under 60. Four players at this B bomb, or I'm at the A bomb site, excuse me. As Nico is basically given free reign to just hang out at that half wall. Here's some aggression. Twist jumping up. Oh, off in rain again. They've been so solid on this defense. Now finally gets one kill, but what more can he do? It's a headshot on Olaf. He's going to get the bomb planted. This is a two on three, and it's winnable. That's the kind of naff we like to see. Hasn't taken any damage yet either, so he's still going to be dangerous. Steel with a smoke, and there's one on Naf as well. They can actually buy a lot of time here. FaZe really needs to get this retake underway, or they're going to be in some trouble. There's the smoke going down again. Lands a little bit too far to one side, so when the other one clears, there should be a bit of a gap. It's two on three. Now it's a one on three. As Naf is alone on the bomb side, they're pushing in from every single angle. He has to try and go for another ace here, and it's not going to be possible, I think. He's going to go for the spray, takes one more out of bullets, hiding inside the smoke, and he almost gets it. Will be taken down, the defuse is in, I think he's just barely got it. That is so unbelievably close, but the defuse will happen. Carrigan to save the round, Neff almost getting the ace clutch in. He's at 30 kills now. That would have been so impressive. I think if he just he keeps running into the yeah. smoke, he just wins that by time. Yeah, he does. Probably, but it's, it's hard in the, in the heat of the moment, isn't it? But four kills, taking out the double op setup. So a victory in some ways where you, you force him to rebuy a lot of weapons. But in overtime, that matters less and less. So 15, 16. 
Guardian with the op. He wants to go for a peek. Waiting for a pop flash at mid. Now he's got the angle. He has picked off Twist, who kind of wandered into his crosshair unawares one round. Look at this play from Nico. Steel's going to come through. Surely they don't expect this much aggression this early on. There's Nico with one. Cannot convert onto the second. That's heartbreaking. He had the play he wanted. A dangerous position there. You could see his... He immediately took up that second angle. He sort of yeah. knew what was going on. He just missed a couple of bullets, and that was the end. You know, that last round, that, that retake that came in was pretty interesting. No, the, the remaining three players on phase didn't have a kit. They had to pick one off of Olaf as well inside the bomb site. So, I mean, there were a lot of things that could have gone wrong. Yeah, that, they even took, I think they took a little bit of time as well. And then, they had to let the flank from Kerrigan come in for hauls, which is where Steel came from. So he got taken out for free. It's a very nice retake. There should be a good round, theoretically, for Liquid. It's a 2-2 type defense. That smoke is going to keep some of the A players on this side for a little while. Nitro making even more noise, and he's back around the corner. Oh, missed shot from Guardian. Now this B defense is going to be put to the test. Kerrigan is here. Olof Meister almost rotated it out. Molotov is pretty good timed, but they're going to challenge it. Olof getting a great double kill somehow. The defense holds here on the B bomb site. Now they're locked in, and they're in a lot of trouble. Two versus four. The fact that Olof is out of position and he comes back into the chaos and st still like just wins it, kind of unlikely. Yeah, just the Molotovs that, that FaZe still had. The counter flash comes in. Kerrigan's going to get two. Yeah, I mean, now you can see FaZe. I mean, they, do, they do such a good job when they just kind of don't play too aggressively. I mean, even then it's yielded them some kills throughout regulation, but now it's just all about the utility. Kerrigan's Molotov is so well-timed it allows Olaf to get back in a position. Actually forces Liquid to take really awkward angles to take that fight onto Olaf. It's going to be five AKs again for Team Liquid. They're going to have full nades, so just trying to get one round in this overtime. Yeah, it's going to be an important one, too. Apparently, T rounds are just very hard to come by when you're, uh, when you're playing Liquid all phase here. Not easy at all. So just one, one out of three would be miraculous almost at this point. Yeah. It would be. We'll see. Olaf spamming. No one getting tagged up. Timing on the grenade looks good again. Yeah, Twist eats it down to 76. And with the game that Guardian's been having, there's so much faith in him to just have the unwrap side all by himself. Timing there is rough. He was throwing a smoke, but he's gotten back and he's recovered. Great shot. Not able to flick over. Elish gets him through the wall. They can expect Kerrigan to be here. There's the kill. There's the trade. Nicely done. Olaf, though, comes over. He rotates to fill the gap, but he loses that as well. Nitro just spamming the corner. And it comes in. Nico's on a quick flank. And this is an awkward engagement for both of these players. And I think Rain's going to find a free one. Nitro's in a one on two. And he's just got to book it over towards that B bomb site. Almost wish he could have picked up an AWP or something along the way. Just because fighting this one versus two with, a, with an AK might be a little bit more tricky. Nico's already on the side of that smoke. Nitro. Oh, he's so close. Nico walking in as soon as this bomb hunt is done. He's going to be trapped in the corner, and Nico's going to be crouching in from the other side. His shadow will show if he starts to get up here, so it's going to be a trick. He's waiting. Oh, he's actually not waiting for his teammate at all. Thought he maybe wanted to wait for Rain. Instead, it's just going to be the pure kill, and that'll be three rounds in a row for FaZe. Not bad at all. All the pressure now on Liquid. Yeah, a lot of pressure on Liquid. Although, I mean, the big thing is you just have to hope that they still have that momentum in, in the individual you know, ability is still going to be at the top, at, at the peak for the CT side, because they were just winning so much. And after you spend so long just getting battered across your own T side, sometimes it is hard to recover late in the map. Either way. It'll be interesting to see if FaZe has a solid T side now that their player has been given enough time to kind of get into the game, right? Guardian looking so much better than he did in the first half. Same with Olaf Meister. Yeah, overtime on map number two. One mistake here for uh, Liquid on the defense, and it could all end horribly wrong. We'll see if FaZe have, uh, yeah, switched up the tempo a little bit. Molotov's there. Nobody's standing in them, which was a regular occurrence in the uh, in regulation on the T side. Yeah, he did have that one round where he just gave up on life, didn't he? I think, did Elise just jump and dink, dink Nico? Yeah, I think that just happened. Why not? Still goes for the fight. Felt like he could have won it. Elise down to 12 HP. Good opening for the defense. Twist is in the pit. Steel inside of the bomb site. All four players from FaZe started to move up towards A. 
And Elysia's already cheated back because of the low HP. Going to take a bit of a gamble. Yeah, I do like this, though. Faye's already being a man down this stack on the A-bomb side. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the fact that they're all standing right on the A-bomb side. That seems weird to me. Yeah, they gave up the pit position to get two in the site. So that's interesting. Nitro's got an off angle peering up towards those halls. And Elyse with 12 HP is the only one watching rap. They're not coming here. Smoke comes out. They have to run right through it. Nitro can't get the timing. There's Steel burning him alive and rain wrapping around. Had an opportunity, but it's ended. And now coming through a bit late. Kerrigan and Guardian going to try and make things work. Twist is still on the site, though, and it's just down to Guardian. Liege pounces at the right moment. Got to stay away from the fire. 16-18. It worked out in the end, but it's always... It, I guess if they don't, if you never allow them to turn the corner, then having all those rifles in the apex site kind of works. Yeah. But when they swing too far out towards the graveyard, you just lose track of all the angles. Like it, it can... It can it, like, it works up until a certain point, and then when they get too far in, it just collapses immediately, so... I thought Rain was going to be able to just decimate it once he starts yeah. wrapping around the bomb site. When, when, yeah, you're right, once he gets that angle. Two more chances still for FaZe to take us to a third map. Let's see if they've got it in them. Elysian Nav holding top and in. Again, here comes a late flash. Elysian's blind. He's behind car. They're going to spam this. That would be so deadly. He's just waiting. He does have Naf here with one flashbang as well over towards Sandbags. I'm gonna go into it. Here's the peak and gets one, traded out. Naf needs to hold strong and he's able to bring Guardian down low. Flashbang out under a lot of pressure here though. Naf not swinging too wide, trying to bait the shots out and Kerrigan does eventually find it. Nitro's here but almost overextends. A hard fought 3v3 for FaZe. Oh God, are you being this low in health? Bit uncomfortable with the AWP walking into the site. Oh, they almost line up. That's a good shot. Could have been nearly a triple, I feel like. Nitro doing work. And Guardian in a one versus three. Gonna be Ooh. turning around. <laughs> How does that kill happen? <laughs> I just have no idea what Nitro just did. Vinny Vinny Vici. You just, you just throw the bullet at him? I think he I think <laughs> yeah, just... It's like he pulls out of the chamber and chucks yeah. it. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Why not? Great kills from Nitro, great mobility, and this was just weird. Yeah, what is this? He's like, oh, no, wait, I did see a shadow. I think he curved the bullet like in Wanted <laughs> Moses. He just comes out at a weird angle. Yeah. Well, this buy for, for FaZe isn't looking great. P250, CZ, MAC-10, UMP, and an AK. Yeah, you hate to see it. Could very well be a double overtime here on map number two. We'll see what happens. Rain looking for a way out of Pop Dog. He's going to be smoking off to the quad side. A lot of flashbangs in Nitro's eyes and more smokes to block him off. And he, he doesn't feel welcome anymore for some odd reason. Going to be falling back instead to the library, catching up with his teammates. Good spray from Steel and getting the lockdown here. They had all the grenades. They forced them back, but Steel just stopping them. Elise as well picking up. And there's Nafly extending it into double overtime, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, a bit of a nod from Sousa. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they've had to, uh, they've had to scrap some rounds together, haven't they? Towards the end of regulation when they were down 15-13, now having to win three straight in overtime. I think the funny thing is, well, maybe not funny, but FaZe wins that if they have AKs, right? Like, if they run that one of the, one of the first two rounds of overtime? Yes. Because, I mean, Steel with that kind of spread on Nico, Nico only had a P250, but he had plenty of time. If he has an AK, that's a kill nine out of ten times. Yeah. So tough down the stretch of the economy. Double overtime, though, and this time Liquid gets the start on the defense. That still has remained strong. Both teams sweeping it in the first overtime. Both teams winning 12 rounds in regulation. Sue's probably just thinking at this point, I mean, we, we can end this right now. <laughs> don't have to play a third map. We can just make it work. These signs, uh, the audience holding, I just, I don't understand any of them. Yeah. Yeah, we should film them more, you know, maybe with some uh, subtitles or something, something like that. Get some translations going. Yeah. Bit of a grenade on Carrigan, or maybe even, I think, uh, two of them. Causing a bit of damage. Not the end of the world, but... Oh, but that one is great. And the following spray, even better as Nico still gets the refrag. Naf will take him down. That's a beautiful trade here for Liquid. It's going to be very upsetting for FaZe. They were, they were just getting ready to play in this round. Didn't even get to do anything yet. Yeah, it's nice defense on Banana. Nico almost even winning that fight on an AF as well. 
The rest of them have gone back towards the A bomb site. Nitro did rotate towards B to help out initially. He passed the AWP off to NAF. So he's got an M4 of his own. And it's going to be a three man hit for FaZe up lane. Steal in the site, Twist in the pit. They can create a nice crossfire. No Molotov yet for Twist's position. There it is. He's going to come out. Smoke, though, is going to allow him some safety. They're jumping up onto the hay cart. He hasn't realized it yet. Now he spots it out. But that Molotov forces them away, and FaZe is stuck. They have time to readjust and attack somewhere else. But it's an awkward scenario. That is actually just the most fantastic smoke timing I've seen in a long time. Because if that doesn't exist, he is gone immediately. He jumps into three people waiting for him, and that's the end. So... Yeah. That was uh, Clutch, I think it was Steel inside of the bomb site. Yes. Make it being, a, being an actual hero. Four versus three now, trying to get into the last couple of seconds here, and it's just not going to work out. There was only 18 seconds when they pushed out of, uh, out of the apartment there, so that was just never going to work, I think. 19-18. We're looking for a team to get to 22 rounds now, by the way. If you've been confused, if you're new to the game or whatever, then... It's, that's the number. And if you are new to the game, uh, you should stick around because this is the third place inside of the grand final still coming up. I, for one, think it's going to be a very spicy game between uh, Mouse Sports and Navi. Yeah, I do too, especially with the way that Simple is playing. Yeah. You know, I know a couple of people, uh, Thorne and Lurpus, have already come out publicly and said no matter what happens in the final, he's essentially the MVP. So he's playing at an incredible level that we don't get to see too frequently. Here, though, we have one of the other players considered to be one of the top three in the world, and Nico, trying to help his team come back on map two and double over time to take it to map three. It feels like right now whoever is going to win this this overtime marathon is going to be the, the team that can win a T round. Like that's just the yeah. That's what's been eluding them. Or if anyone wins two in an overtime, it's like that's a guaranteed win. It feels like. Yeah, it seems like it, doesn't it? It's strange because we've been talking a lot about how Inferno can be a very T-sided map. And that, that, not today, it seems. It's just been different. Uh, it's only T-sided when there's no economy on the CT side. And both teams got such yeah. a good start on their CT sides that they never had to worry about money throughout the entirety of the half. Yeah, that is the explanation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a simple one. Not super sexy, but... All about the money. Exchanging smokes. They were almost out of position for the defense. Naf actually had to run back while Leash was falling back into the bomb site. They are entirely out of grenades, though, and there's still 40 seconds, so FaZe are doing the right thing, objectively, in waiting, and they're going to realize soon they're not, they're not going to re-smoke it. And then they have a good shot. Oh, they're boosting up. Both players, they can get caught by this Molotov. This is so dangerous. Great kill from Nitro. That's towards mid. The main hit is here at B. Boosted it up. Alish gets nothing done. Great trades into a three-on-three. Nitro, can he stop the plant from going down? Almost hit that shot. Very close, but he's going to get rain regardless. Looked like he was getting caught. Rain pushing aggressively into construction. And now two versus three. Kits on everybody alive right now on the liquid side. Nitro a bit low on health, but Nico and Guardian, if they can win this round, that might bet just be enough to put us on a map number three. Flashbang go deep into the bomb site. Guardian out in the open. I don't know how they didn't spot him. Nitro goes down. Steel is going to get dropped. Nico with a double. And somehow FaZe pick it up. Very odd angle for Guardian. They weren't ready for it. No, they weren't. It's almost like he did a double take. Didn't realize that he'd spotted out an elbow. Great crossfire set up in a tough situation for FaZe. And they do battle their way in. And you're exactly right. It did come down to a lack of utility on that D defense. They had to play it passively. 19-19. There's that all-elusive T side round. And surely if FaZe can win two... Good chance they'll be able to close things out. Set up in a default again. Yeah, I don't know if this math always works out. I mean, it probably doesn't, but you know, you win, you win one out of three. That's like that's like winning five out of fifteen in, in <laughs> ratios, you know. And since nobody could do that in regulation, it sort of makes sense. Yeah, I don't think it works out like that. I do like the logic behind it, though. It is a third of the rounds, Moses, I know. mathematically. I, just I like forget all about the economy and everything else. Just ignore all of that. All right. Just give me this one. <laughs> I just need something, Moses. Anything. Uh, the after party's coming up, Anders. That's, that's what you can hold on to. Cling to it. Yeah. It's going to start as soon as this game is done, Moses. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, Elyse pushed up. Nico looks like he wants to clear it. They're going to start hearing footsteps. Great kill from Elyse. Needs to build on it. No one's at the B-bomb site. That's Ballsy pulling a nade out. Yeah. And that spells his doom. Small mistake there from Elyse. Obviously can't know when they're going to pounce, but tough to recover. There is aggression in towards lane. They're waiting for that Olaf. He had it. He had the play red. But with that kill, look at this. Liquid thinks they need to evacuate the A-bomb site. They have players starting to book it. Great job by Naf, keeping his focus. Liquid seems to have this round all sewn up. That's the bomb down. That should spell the end. So it should be 20. Liquid go 2-1 and one on the CT side in double overtime. In fairness to uh, Elijah's point of view, what are you really doing when, when you're in that corner? Like, he pulled out the flashbang, but if he, if he goes to fight them, that might not have been very, like, that. Like it's hard to say, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, but I, I do think that in that scenario, um, pulling utility out is about, like, the one thing I would consider to be a wrong answer. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, it's one of those things, right, where you either swing out wide and take a fight, or you kind of shoulder peek and, like, pre-fire, trying to bait them into, like, wrapping around that corner where you have a, a somewhat of an advantage. Um, but, yeah, it is, it is kind of nitpicking. Nafla is really trying to pull his team across the finish line right now, Moses. He wants this to end in two maps. He's got 38 kills. He's doing a great job, isn't he? Yeah. Well, look at Elise, 32 as well for him. No one on a... Well, I think Guardian just got to 30 in that first half of double overtime. Let's see what they can bring us here. Second half, second overtime, second map. And it is 20 to 19. So Liquid need two rounds. Phase need three. Could be triple overtime. Why not? I'm getting, I'm getting into this. I'm liking this. Yeah, you're fired up now? Yeah, I feel like now we've got finally a real game on our hands. It's been a little bit of a weird uh, third place decider until now. Natfly finding his 39th kill. And that's against Nico. That always feels good. Yeah, it really does. Especially, well, Nico was trying to get aggressive and he had it a couple times in the first OT where he was able to get that perch down deep. So Liquid catch him trying to do the same play again and he's out in the open, completely blinded. Even then, he still gets a, almost gets a kill. Naf down to 29. If you're Liquid, I feel like the answer has got to be just don't go towards Guardian. Because he made them pay every time they wanted to gain any sort of presence or map control at his area. And I think you just stay away at this point. You force somebody else to beat you. Kerrigan's out of nades over towards the B bomb site, and that will force Guardian to rotate over. Help alleviate some of the pressure at the A bomb site. The defense here on A is going to be put to the test a hell of a lot. But Olaf and Rain have answered the call every time it's come towards them. Oh, they actually seem like they're turning it around. So this is interesting. Are they going to try and wrap through CT spawn? At least Elige will be carrying the torch through there. God, oh, that's such a scary jump. Carrigan still winning the fight, dropping the bomb. If he gets Naf as well, that would have been the end of the round. Guardian there to stop the bomb. 19 seconds. He's going to go down to Twist. And he can just make it around the corner as Olaf and Rain are running, trying to see if they can get close enough in time. Nitro in position, but he's going to miss the first battle, and he still gets a headshot on one. Rain now on a one versus two with a bomb down, trying to see if he can get in there. He's got the kit, picks up that flashbang in transition, and they've got a good crossfire here. Rain, how does he make it past this line on the map? I'm not even sure he can. Picks up the AK, and is trying to see if he can get a bit closer, but they've got him boxed in so nicely at the moment. If he had anything, a Molotov, a smoke, he could maybe buy the time, but it won't happen. Twist will take him down, and now Liquid are very close to being able to do this. One more round. Yeah, quick thinking from Team Liquid. A couple scary spots in that round. They had to press the issue against Kerrigan. If he was allowed to live there, if he was allowed to fall back into the bomb site, that round's over. So good on Naf to make sure he trades that, even with only 29 HP. And then Nitro, with really quick thinking, takes the shot with the up towards Banana when Olaf Meister is flanking, swaps out for the AK-47 as soon as he misses. And Olaf's caught off guard by that switch. So Team Liquid, two chances to close this out, this series out, 2-0. They just need one more round. Easier said than done. The defense has been really good for FaZe. Nico almost could have uh, gone down. Flashbangs are in, and he's going to fall Naf again, winning that fight. That is super interesting. It's twice now. Two rounds in a row in this double overtime. Nico caught in that very same position. It's a bit unfortunate. You want to you want to see FaZe be able to fight for third map when they've pushed it into double overtime. It seems like, you know, so close to the finish line. But now they're a man down. Really, really deep smoke there. Onto the A bomb side, I believe, gonna land by the pit. And the grenade actually doing a fair bit of damage. Not bad at all. 
They're now cheating a third man over here. So this is a great call. Really solid defensive call coming out of phase. Carrigan in position. He's hearing them on the other side. Oh, but he goes down to steal. Bit too much of an angle. And all of us right on the other side, hiding inside of the smoke. If he goes down, that just might be game. He's turned his back and there's another player coming. Oh, you can't quite know that. Nitro there, twist up in the apartments waiting. It's going to be rain going down. All of next in line. And now it's just a one versus two guardian here to try and save it. He's going to get the kill on Liege and he's flanking wide. It's Naf going down. Another round for FaZe. Guardian saving them and preventing that loss. That was about to get very tricky. Yeah, really good round from Team Liquid. That was a very nicely formed strategy. It takes a tad bit too long. They kind of give up the play, and even then it's still hard to stop from FaZe. But the fact that it was so telegraphed and it took so long to come to fruition, from the time that first really deep smoke is thrown towards Pit to the time they actually attack the bomb site, it's, it's probably one of the longer lasting strategies from start to finish that we've seen. And it allows Guardian to get that flank. He kind of knows what's coming. Yeah. Even then, Liquid almost wins it. One more chance for them to close things out. And with four kills in that previous round and a win in the first round, the buy for FaZe is not looking great. Kerrigan and Guardian both on SMGs. And Guardian's a big player in this game that's going to be stuck on a weaker weapon. Yeah. Chris J wants to talk to you about that, Moses. That MP7 has just it's been wonderful for him. I hate to say it, but it's really working out. <laughs> I love it. Do you? I do. Just a trash human being on you. Well, yeah. <laughs> Nico and Carrigan defending the view. When you don't even try and defend it, most you just know it's yeah. Seek help. <laughs> seek help. I've been working. I've been working on that kind of a reputation for a long time now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good job, I suppose. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. It is the last round of double overtime. Could be a third of phase can make this defense work it. Looked like they wanted to set up for sort of almost a contact play here on the B bomb side. They were getting really close to it, but um, th there is the Guardian is really close by. This is going to be a disaster. As soon as Nico sees any utility thrown over the wall, it's just going to be Molotov into the choke point. And then, yeah, Guardian will be over here as well. Here it comes. There's smoke. Molotov going to be behind it. And I don't even know if Liquid can make it in here. This is going to be so tough for them. Running through the flames. Kerrigan's waiting with the SMG, and that's so easy. Now Nico peeks one more for him, spraying him down. He gets two. He gets all three. The Deagle returns, but it's beautiful. Nico wins it with utility alone. Triple overtime, ladies and gentlemen. I see a little bit of a smirk on Roban in the background. Um, that is that combination with the smoke and the fire. You know how they say when, when there's smoke, there's fire Moses. In Nico's case, it's absolutely true. Yeah. And when you come, it, the problem is that when that happens, there's like 30 seconds left. So you, sa you, make, you see the smoke and you make the decision, listen, let's just push through the smoke. Then when you come through, there's the Molotov there and you can't really back off. Like at that no. point, you have to keep going. So great little challenge put up by Nico. Not the first time he's done it on B. No, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's done great. And part of that is once now that we're deep into double overtime, I mean, it does seem like there's a little bit less risk taking from Team Liquid. Again, it goes back to that just a very passive round up until the point where they hit that B bomb site. They had four players in Banana and Nitro over towards the A site for the majority of that round. So there's nothing to force that utility out. Um, but, you know, also you could say big difference. Remember, in the first two rounds on the CT side for that double overtime, Nico had been caught pushing down Banana. So, um, obviously a big piece of the puzzle to have alive, not only with the M4, but with yeah. that utility that he brings into the round. Yeah, Naf was doing a good job winning some of those fights pretty early on against Nico. See if he's going to get the chance one more time here in triple overtime. The longer it goes, the harder it gets to keep up with, you know, what's actually happening. Especially if you're a player. Nafly going to go down to Guardian early on. Like the amount of rounds you have to try and keep in your head to figure out what worked, what didn't, you know, how yeah. they, it just gets worse and worse. It's deep down the rabbit hole at this point. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to, on a team scale, it's, it's tough to keep track of that. As, an, as a player, though, you just kind of remember what you face. Great opening kills from Guardian. The slow pace from Team Liquid has really allowed him to find whatever he's wanted. And a three on five. You have to say, Liquid, that previous uh, overtime, we, they, they couldn't have had anything more that they wanted to get a second round, right? They had the yeah. first round won. They had two chances. The second round, they bring it down into a one-on-one -on -one that they lose. But, you know, then you face against two SMGs, and you feel like that should be the round that Liquid had set up that whole time. This oh round, no damage coming out for Team Liquid so far. And great nades from FaZe. 
Yeah, that was actually a beautiful grenade from Rain, especially because it was completely risk-free. Like, there was no way they could have returned any damage on him, just... It was also combined with a Molotov, right? So if there's like a different position or, you know, different landing of that grenade, it maybe just kills someone straight up. Guardian in the sight, here comes the flashes, and actually this one works onto Olaf, but they're not able to take advantage of it. Everyone's unblind now. Great kill from Twist. Olaf getting two, and there's just one player, Steel, stuck in the bomb site still, and Guardian ends this round with three. Good attempt, but they were playing a five versus three, so yeah. that is just never going to be easy, is it? No bomb plant, having to use more of their bank in this round, and it's going to be all AKs, it seems. Nitro still thinking about it. Ooh, does he want to challenge Guardian? We're looking for 25, I believe, correct, to end this? Um, yeah, I think so. I've lost track <laughs> as well. My God, Moses, didn't ask those questions. Yeah, yeah, four rounds, yes, that's what we're looking for. Cool. I'm almost sad Nitro didn't uh, buy the EWP because Guardian has been playing this aggressively all along. I think actually he should have done that and tried to challenge. That's a ridiculous kill. I'm taking down a liege. But Nico falls on the other side and again it's Nafly. I mean part, part of this becomes, Anders, that we go back to that conversation about Team Liquid. This, this roster swap they've made taking JDM out of it is when you... This is, this, this is the half, the T sides where, you know, having a rifler who can also op really kind of struggles. It's harder to make it work on the T side. So you don't have that option to really switch into it to duel against one of the best oppers in the world. Yeah, but I wouldn't even call it a duel. It, I would say just... Just hold the angle. Just hold angle mid. And he's okay. been there almost every single round. Maybe it's the long play. Maybe they're saving that particular tactic for f fourth overtime. <laughs> just, <laughs> they've planned it all along. Yeah. Like, all right, guys, just get us to quadruple overtime, and then we have the perfect strat. Nav still waiting over at that B bomb site. So much utility for Team Liquid still. All four players have a lot of nades left. Guardian and Olaf are really the only ones feeling healthy in that sense. And the tough part for, for FaZe is it feels like Rain has to be at this B bomb site because he has a Molotov. Kerrigan has absolutely nothing, so it almost feels like he cannot rotate away, but he's doing just that. That's the opportunity that Liquid needs. Great tap from Nav. Great response from Rain, but he can only do one. That was a super sick fake coming out of Liquid. Those two grenades that land at pit, double grenade at pit, uh, both smokes were thrown from middle. And that's why they rotated Rain out. That's why Liquid could get into the bomb side. Very well done here on the American side. It will be Guardian now swapping out for the M4 instead. Going to try and see if he can retake this one versus two. And why not? It's got one chance to maybe do this. Grenade is in. Twist is just going to take him down. That was a solid tactical outplay from Liquid. I really, really like seeing that. Yeah, that's a very cool round. Obviously, it just, just pulls Rain's attention for maybe two seconds or so. But the yep. big thing is, like I said, it pulled him out of position to use that Molotov in time to save Kerrigan. Kerrigan really, really needed that Molotov into the choke point. So 22 all. And again, we've kind of said it seems like the key to winning one of these overtimes is to get two rounds in your T side. Let's see if Liquid can do it here. Yeah, it seemed almost impossible. Quick grenade exchange as Guardian will win that fight, falling back in. If they try and run him down, Nico's going to be there to try and follow it up. And he's going to retreat just behind that. Yeah, very good peak. Guardian has done that a couple of times as well. Yeah, and it's so tough to stop it if you're Team Liquid, just because he's been such a menace over towards the A-bomb, so you can never predict when he's going to make that switch over towards B. And they've had a lot of success taking Banana and finding kills on a Nico, for example, throughout overtime with that same exact take. But when Guardian steps over, it just gets shut down. Once taking that fight, he is going to go back to Arch instead. Obviously, that is what you expect out of a, an AWP player like Guardian, to be a bit mobile, to move around after each kill, yep. make sure they can't exactly guess where he's going to be. That's all part of the fundamental um, strategy if you're playing that role. Under 50 seconds now, there's that same smoke that they were throwing for the fake last time, so that's something that Liquid are uh, quite happy to do. There's the second smoke in the wall towards the pit, but no one's actually playing pit, so Rain got to go back and walk a little inside the smoke. There's a good counter Molotov coming out, forcing them in, and the flashbangs might have been even better than the Molotov. Olaf getting two easy kills. 
And that was it. They needed those two plants out of apartments to open it up. Yep, that's the round. Also, because there was no smoke on the left side of mid, Nitro and Steel had to go through the hole, so that delays things. Still have a chance. 20 seconds left. They need to win some great fights here. They need to do it quick. The rotation is in. Kerrigan's almost arrived, and now he has. He can swing out. Great shot from Nitro. He spotted Kerrigan. Steel needs to win that fight, and he's done it. Oh, the nade from Kerrigan. Nitro in a one-on-two, and he's trying to bait Kerrigan out into the open. He's done it. He gets that kill. He needs one more. Bomb is going to get planted in time. It's Nico and Nitro. One versus one, a massive round for Nitro. Can he take care of Nico? Crouching under the box, looking for the one tap, almost got it. Now the edge is showing and Nitro gonna be able to pick it up. The quad kill, saving his team. That was a two versus four and somehow they turn it around. A miraculous round here for Team Liquid in triple overtime. They finally pick up those two rounds. Moses and you prophesied it. That's what they needed to actually make it. They could just do it now. That's, that's an incredible round to win. For an A defense that's been so solid, Rain and Olaf Meister, have, it feels like they've been so untouchable on that CT side and protecting against lane and protecting against, you know, balcony play. And they do it again here with two kills out balcony, but I, the follow-up is incredible. Individual fights won by Nitro and Steel just to get in. Nitro with a last-second plant. So they just need to win two on the CT side. Just two. 44 kills on Nafly, who's still on top of the scoreboard. It's looking good at the moment. Doing a simple impression. Yeah, it really is. Although, there can be only one Moses <laughs> yeah, in, there really in Highlander. Can. Yeah. We get to see him later on. Excited for that. Star Series Grand Finals coming up just as soon as this is over and the players get swapped out. Still got to finish this one, though. Second half of third overtime. Looking for 25 and Nitro under pressure towards Rap. Kerrigan, he gets dropped. But they're not paying attention. There's so many more bodies coming this way. Nitro is just going to get into cover. Elige and Naf cannot be involved through the smokes. They're spraying through, and Elige is put down to 12. That is a risky play. Seal towards Graveyard can pop up to help out. Every single person from Liquid is here, but they're not in, they're in sort of weird positions. You're right. Fighting through the smoke, not a good idea. They finally managed to find their way in. And Nico, the last one left in a one versus four, is going to be going down. That's the big kill. The teammates coming out as well for Liquid. One more round out of the next two, and they're going to be able to pull it through on two maps, although admittedly in triple overtime on the yeah. second. I, I've got to say I was getting panicked. It looked like Nitro wasn't aware that there were like four more people coming around that corner. The one flashbang that at least throws, though, does slow them down. Well, it doesn't just slow them down. It stops them. Yeah. And that's where FaZe loses that round is, yeah, you lose the first player, but someone's got to press the issue after that because you can't just have three players stuck on rap side doing absolutely nothing. You have smokes up. And when you just stay there, as soon as those smokes go away, because you have nothing left, you're just all dead. Olaf Meister with an opening pick. Double op set up on the T side. Desperation, perhaps, for FaZe. But it yields them an opening kill. Steel and Twist falling out of the A bomb side. Is this, this seems like a big gamble. Yeah, but they're not rotating. They just want to go towards rap side. They want to be able to peak delayed if they, if they feel the pressure. That's another kill, though, for Nico towards Banana. This is looking like an unlikely round for Liquid. Yeah, Twist is... I like this gamble, though, because if they peek the corner, they're going to watch Steel, and there's almost no chance they actually spot for, for Twist in that one. But it seems like they... M it might be all for nothing here. They're going to be realizing there's nobody else on A in a couple of seconds here. Five versus three, and when the bomb goes down like this, just run away with the rifles, I guess. Yeah, uh, I mean you have all you have you have money available, right, for that last round. So it's not a huge deal if you fight oh. for this. Almost lining them up, but yeah, there's there's such a small chance of you winning. So Nitro is the last one left. One versus four. He's gonna try and save this off. They're gonna hunt him down. Yeah, and that far is the only one I guess who's missing. He's at 1800. Still so be able to drop something. Yeah, down. they'll be fine. Well then, 24, 23. Can you, can you handle quadruple overtime, Moses? Oh, absolutely. I was born for quadruple overtime, and that's when we're going to see Liquid's uh, secret strategy, I think. Yeah, you did, uh, you did mention this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. they, they, they'd saved it. What's the secret strategy, Moses? Can you tell us? Tech 9 rush out of the apartments for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just the throwback strategy. Maybe the dualies will come out. Never the dualies, Moses. I'm just... I'm telling you, next time you play the game, bust out the dualies. You're going to love it. Enough of that, though. 
back to single AWP on the face side. It was a cool gimmick for Olaf to bring out to find an opening kill, but he wants to go back towards the AK-47. Not necessarily the most reliable weaponry to bring forward on the T side on Inferno. Could also just be that he got the spawn that round, you know, and said, yeah. listen, I, I'm going to go for it. And it worked, so who can blame him? No one, I don't think anyone's going to say no to Olaf Meister. No. <laughs> just don't want to stand in his way, do you? He's just a winner. At Liege, that nade doesn't do any damage. He spams through the smoke, doesn't find any himself. Patience from both teams. Restraint being shown. Although, scary thing, Naf has a flashbang. Elige has the rotator towards the B bomb site, has no nades. And there's over a minute left, so if FaZe does go back towards the B bomb site, Liquid has nothing to slow them down. And Naf is just saying, I'll hold this on my own. Just, I'll try and keep this as long as I can. He's forced back, and I'm not even sure what, what made him sort of move back. Maybe he just sort of thought it was time, but now he's alone and very far in the B bomb site, so I'm. Absolutely worried about this. I don't mind the four-man stack on A as long as Naf has banana control, but this could get a little bit ugly. Oh, look at Liquid. Could they have just checkmated FaZe here? That would be insane. They'll boost one up. I imagine Elyse would go up. You have Naf in the bomb site and Nitro, if he goes around with that AWP. Oh god, here it comes. Smoke execute. And Elyse is in prime position. Yeah, he is trying to turn around for the grenades. Naf waiting in the corner. There's the first kill bomb down. Nico almost drops. Headshot from Naf. Looking for more. He's done such a great job, but he's finally going to get shut down. And it is still a three on three. That bomb plant coming through with very little time left. Steel goes down to all of who's waiting. Twist finally able to help out the bomb site, but it's still a two on two. The bomb did go down. No chance for Nitro to stop it. And now Guardian with an angle in towards CT spawn. He's lethal in this position. That flick is ridiculous. Taking down one, but Nitro will get the return at least. And now Rain up on the box. He's fallen off and Nitro will have heard that. Now he's going to try and see, can he get on the side? If he had a smoke, it would be genius. There's the flash and Rain spots it. Not defusing yet. Waiting for it. Nitro, one bullet. All it takes here and they're going to be able to secure that third place. He's going for the full defuse. Two seconds. One second oh. and it won't happen. Rain will take him down instead. And now will be FaZe extending it even further. Quadruple overtime. These last rounds have been Madness. crazy. If, if that's not an instant headshot from range, if that first bullet hits like the leg or the body of Nitro, he wins. Yeah. That is so intense. I, th I mean, Liquid had such a great read on this round. By the way, the, the, the job that Olaf does to cut off rotations just to take out that one A player, I believe it was Twist, uh, or not Twist, it might have been, um, doesn't matter who. The fact that he gets one of those kills is so massive, otherwise it's a three on two. But, I mean, that, that B hit with Liquid, with the read, with the boost up as well. Nitro with the AWP just couldn't get into position at Coffins quick enough. He couldn't get involved with that AWP. You're not going to win a whole lot of fights spamming through smoke with an AWP. You're not going to get that lucky. So it really kind of negated the fact that there were three players at the B bomb site. Man, when you saw the replay of that defuse, it was just getting very low on time, wasn't it? Yeah, like it really he, was. It it had it said one second for like <laughs> for like it seemed like forever. Yeah, that's intense. You could see the logic though. I mean, he knows there's going to be shoulder peaks coming out. So when he sees the shoulder peak and just holds it and doesn't fire a bullet, then it forces Rain to kind of you know make the call, then commit for the next fight. And if he wants to get off it, he can. But at a certain point, when you get low enough on that defuse timer, you just stick it and and kind of. Pray to the gods. 24-24, start of quadruple overtime. Yeah, keep it coming. We're getting into the groove now. Guardian taking that angle, but not going to be challenged by anybody. I like that from Nitro. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Late grenade to bottom of banana. Doesn't really do much to Nico. Return. Not that much either. So a couple of early exchanges without much of a result. And a fairly common setup. Maybe except for Elige. This is interesting. Liquid really, I mean, when you're playing quadruple overtime, you sort of have to try and, like, be creative. Yeah. But w what scares me the most about this defense for Team Liquid is they use so many nades early on to get banana control. Elige and Naf, once again, two flashes between them with a minute and 20 seconds left. This, now, on the other hand... I know you have to take some risks and everything, but that might be a bit much. And Rain is going to take that all day long. Now, they have a free wrap towards CT spawn. Elyse pushing up. He can find Nico, and he does. Guardian now exposed, and that's a great kill from Elyse. Making plays across the map. 
He's got the bomb down, and it's going to be tough for them. They're going to have to fight their way to control it. Kerrigan has a great kill. And Naf doesn't realize that he's getting flanked out from two different positions. Yeah. He's got to be passive. Oh, he's going to need some help. You're right. This is a little bit tricky. Steel comes through. I don't know how he wins that fight. Olaf gets to him and turn, and now Nafly. Can he stop this from happening? Goes for the spray, but Rain will take him down. That was a crazy round. It's such a hard call to make if you're liquid in that scenario. When a liege gets those two kills, you have a decision to make as a team at that point. It's you either fight to control the bomb or you just back off to your respective bomb sites. And Liquid obviously makes the choice to fight for that, but because of it, those two players pushing down mid through that smoke have to make an incredibly risky play that yields results first, but Olaf is able to end it. Because you're only, like, that's such a tough spot to control the bomb. You basically yeah. just have to keep getting aggressive everywhere across the map and over, overextend and expose yourself to danger. Naf taking a lot of damage without seeing anyone. Runs back through the fire, and that could have almost got him killed. Grenade going to be late. Face probably don't even know it, but um, if they did, they'd be quite happy with that early, early pressure on Naf. Again, utility running low for Team Liquid. I guess the one benefit of having Naf at the B bomb site is he can play passively with that AWP, even with low HP. If he just gets that one kill, it could be the difference. This is a big change. If you ever wanted to see a, how FaZe has kind of come alive in this matchup, watching regulation, I don't think they'd ever taken control of top mid and brackets at the minute and 15 second mark. Now being way more bold. Yeah, the change from regulation into the, the overtimes here has really been a big one for, I feel like, both teams in, in both good and bad ways. But see what can happen now. Wrapping around Arch in towards that A-bomb side. The bomb is still back here waiting. They're expecting Elise to push, and Nico dead on with that kill. That's perfect. Now, <laughs> here's, a, here's a question. Will they still expect Naf to be here? They surely will check this, and he's got 15 health, and now they definitely know he's going to get the one kill. Didn't expect Rain to also be in CT spawn. So now, what can they do? This is going to be a second round on the T side in quadruple overtime in favor of FaZe. That, that is a strong argument for a third map. That mini-map was so stupid once that kill comes out onto Elise. Just so <laughs> many orange dots just flooding towards the B-bomb site. They could have gone either way as well. Like, I mean... Yeah. I mean, there was just, they'd already had position in CT spawn as well. That was just nightmare. Well... 24, 26 it will be. And if FaZe gets 3-0. That's it, then you're calling it 100% Moses? No, 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 I won't go that far. Don't be crazy. Trying to steal the last rifles away if they can. Nitro says no. And they, a couple of them die on the bridge. Nafla up to 47 kills, still leading the server. Guardian has 44 on the other side of things. Those two guys have been great for their team. Elijah at 36 and Nico at 33. Yeah, the scores always end up looking uh, really know. good, don't they? Yeah, when you just especially play rounds. yeah, when, especially when you apply the same standards uh, as you do for regulation four overtimes later. Yeah, that is exactly right. Let's see what happens here. A couple of grenades running through Elijah. Going to oh be God. falling back. A lot of fire at their feet. There's still Naf here at the corner, and they haven't checked it yet. Sort of trying to. You see, Rain is a bit paranoid, and I'm sure Naf, please stop jumping. More grenades coming in. They somehow get the kill through Leash, picking that one up. And Carrigan, the bomb is there. They sort of have to commit to this fight. There's the Molotov to force them back in. Really wanted to chase after that kill, but that's a four and three here. FaZe, not looking too hot in this one, but they can still do it. What a battle for banana control. Yeah. And meanwhile, to the other side of the map, we didn't see it. Olaf and Steel had a duel that leaves Steel bleeding. He's got a UMP and 8 HP. Kerrigan trying to wrap up. This is a huge fight, huge kill, and Nitro's got the angle. Slowly creeps out. That's an easy one. Guardian trying to come around the bombsite as well. He'll have a decision to make, and he kind of just has to go towards B at this point. There's no real reason for him to fight at A. With that ADP, they're going to peek in, maybe see if he can get a pick. But his only chance of success is going towards B, finding Naf, and getting the bomb planted. Yeah. Comfortable inside the library. Or so for and some books to read. Oh. Bit of a bit of an attempt from Guardian. I mean I'm not sure it would have mattered either way. But he doesn't get the kill on twist, so that is 
the first half of the fourth overtime done. Moving into the second half of the overtime. So that we're looking for the first of 28. Is that true? 29, I think. 29. The is last it, one. No, it's 28. You're right. Yeah. The last one finished 24, 24, right? Yeah. And then. 28. It's really, really rudimentary um, maths that we're working with here, Moses. And yet, it's, <laughs> it's hard to figure out. You know? I, I used the 25 that Liquid got in that last round as, as the basis for my math. So it was incorrect in my yeah. original premise. Got to be careful with that. Yeah. Were you good at maths in school, Moses? Were you one of those kids? I was. Um, yeah? Yeah. But once you know you get to calculus, you're just kind of like, I'm never going to need to use any of this in my life. Yeah, calculus does make your brain hurt, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. Once I got to that stage, I was like, I'm done with math. <laughs> don't want, don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. You know, the crowd getting a bit fatigued at the fact that we're um, this Inferno match has suddenly lasted a very long time. Nuke was so quick, and Inferno was shaping up to be exactly the same. Yeah. And then suddenly FaZe decided, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to see if we can't bring this back. And indeed they did. Incredible recovery in the second half for phase. Now we're in quadruple overtime here. Second half of that. First team to 28 rounds. If you trust our math. All off trying to do some spam. He takes a decent amount of damage as well. I don't think it was that Nate. I think it was actually reverse. Oh, Liege. That timing by maybe a half second, and he's not ready for Rain to be there. He hears the footsteps. He thought Olaf was the pit player. That's a pretty clever setup for FaZe to have that. Bates, Allegiant, the play. There's some pressure towards that B-bomb. So a minute and 10 seconds on the clock. Nico still has that smoke-Molotov combination that has won them so many rounds in this game. Yeah, it's really been good. He did put out the smoke a bit earlier, so not waiting until there's only 20 seconds, which was the... MO in some of the previous rounds. A very common default setup here for FaZe. Nobody cheating over to the A bomb side or B for that matter. So we'll see if Liquid can make it work, even if Elise did go down. Twist lurking in alt mid, not being aggressive. Great find from Kerrigan. Headshot on a NAF. And that kind of prevents Liquid from pressuring this B-bomb. So you can see, though, FaZe thought that was going to be the final hit. Guardian's got to be ex excellent again. Gets that opening kill, trying to get baited out. It's not going to happen. And he's going to, no, not get the 30. shut down by Nitro, but he's done his job. He's going to get FaZe up to 27. He's going to get them uh, onto map point. Looking to force this onto Mirage. Yes, they are. 27 to 25. Two One chances. more round for FaZe. Yes, they do have two chances. You're absolutely right. Guardian, 40, sorry, yeah, 46 kills at the moment. Almost catching up to Nafla, like one more kill away. And Guardian was looking um, really out of it for most of this. He was, uh, I'm not even sure he connected to Nuke. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, to be fair, not sure anyone from FaZe connected to Nuke. They might have just been playing, you know, bots named as the FaZe players. But <laughs> Inferno obviously been much better since the end of the first half. 27-25. Steel and Naf again going to try and take banana control, and they're kind of given it early. And the benefit, if you see like the, the disparity between how Liquid was playing theirs, is they use so much utility early on to get banana control. FaZe is so happy to just make sure they have their smoke Molotov for any late round plays that that Liquid are going to have, and that's it's been so effective for them. Liquid need to win two in a row here to put us into five overtimes. That's the call. That's what they need. Kerrigan playing close to Oranges. But they only have one Molotov there on Naf, so it looks like it's going to go the other way. Kerrigan should be safe for the moment. In fact, he's fallen all the way back anyway, so under a minute. It looks like Liquid want to make this a full-on B execute. Let's see how they do. Kerrigan swapped in towards CT, flashing and trying to run through into the fire. He's going to get one kill. Nico with a double, and he's actually sharing space in yellow with Steel for a minute. Naf is going to get the one kill as well on Nico. Still a 2-1-3. Liquid, if they don't win this, we're going to go to Mirage. There's the deep grenade into the bomb site, And Steel now all the way up there on the boxes with Naf on the other side. And FaZe taking a bit of time to do this. A lot of spray coming through. Could have been the end of all of Meister. Down to 29 health. Guardian looking for the angle, hoping to find somebody, but hasn't really done it yet. There's the flick, taking down Naf, and now Steel alone. One versus three. He gets a spray and one. Oh, my God! He picks it up, the quad kill. 
and extends it a little bit further. That is an absolutely monstrous defense. Picking up those kills should have never happened. How does that work? He's been, I think, the weakest player here on Inferno. Not by much, but that was out of control. Certainly on the scoreboard, but he's, he's such an impact player, and he delivers again here in the clutch. How, how can FaZe not close that out? Three on one. The spray transfer is phenomenal. You even have the opera coming in and baiting his position out. Stands his ground on top of it as well. Everything going so very well. The utility being thrown out, that's what kind of gave Steel the opportunity and an instant headshot into that second player and the follow-up is great. Like he gets baited to reel his position, then he, he, the initial burst goes into nobody, so they both double peek him because that's what you do. And then... They both die. And they both die. That's what you do. That's so unreasonable. <laughs> I mean, that second player had a Molotov throwing out into the into the lower corner, obviously, which is what gave him the chance, that one extra second to readjust the recoil. Guardian in lane. He doesn't want to be too aggressive. They did take a lot of grenade damage on Steel and Naf over at bottom banana. FaZe just thinking, please let this be the round where we can move on from playing Inferno. <laughs> Inferno always delivers, Anders. It does. It's I really so feel good. like it's true. Yeah, once you get to playoffs, it's like, this is the map. Well, Guardian all by himself, maintaining control of mid, almost flicks over. You feel with some of the shots we've seen him hit in this game so far, that would have landed. It looks like Liquid's trying to press the issue and have a split towards this B bomb site, but Elysian Nitro, this is not who you want to go against. All of a sudden, he's not hitting shots. That one is good, but not great. Olaf and Rain have to make the choice to push down mid for the flank or rotate, rotate through CT spawn. They're about to have a lot of pressure put on him with Kerrigan boosted up. He's going to get a double. He cannot control it, and there's Nico. The problem here, I mean, apart from everything else, also the time. There's only 10 seconds. He's going to go straight for the plant. No other choice. I mean, anything else would have probably been a mistake now. One versus three. Lee's trying to extend the overtime here. Otherwise, we're going to go straight on to Mirage, and that's a great flashbang. Olaf will take him down. And finally, we put an end to Inferno in four overtimes with a scoreline of 28 to 26. FaZe Clan somehow making it back. What a, what a crazy game. It's almost two maps right there that they just played. Yeah. That's intense. That is pretty intense. And this all started with the FaZe switching over into the second half of regulation down 3 to 12. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it seems so long ago, doesn't it? It's really, really, really hard to put in the work. Yeah. Just Drive that, come back home, then to play four overtimes, and then you can play map number three. Not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. Mirage.